Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Did Kamala Khan miss Marvel shapeshift? Or did she just merely trade places with Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, or um, in her universe, or transferred um, like, between dimensions? This is a huge head scratcher. One that has left so many people confused. And I give props to the director. She filmed it in a way that you really can't tell. <laughs> now, one funny thing that a lot of people are saying online is that in the few seconds Brie Lawson was on screen, she gave the best performance of her life <laughs> that she did in the Captain Marvel movie. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> when I read that comment, man, I laugh. I will say this about this. Her acting is so-so. Um, Brie Lawson, like, it's like so-so, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's very stiff. Um, but I will say, yeah, she gave a lot of expression. Probably a lot more expression than she did in, in all the other, like, Marvel movies she did. But anyways... <laughs> <laughs> so, what did Kamala Khan exactly do? So, let's recap. Kamala Khan is in her Miss Marvel costume. Her bangle starts to glow. She's just playing around looking at her fingers. She's all happy and excited. Then all of a sudden, she feels kind of weird. And then she kind of just like, her powers make her rush towards that of like her closet and she busts through while she's busting through her closet we can see that her body is twisting and turning very much the way you adaporate in a harry potter movie she comes out and then all of a sudden she is carol danvers wearing a completely different costume than the one she wears in the mcu now, her hair is also different from that of Endgame. She looks at her fingers. Her fingers are sparkling the way, like, more so Miss Marvel does than the way Captain Marvel does. So I'll just say Kamala. Her fingers are glowing in the same purple glow as the bangle colors of, like, um, Kamala. However, she's not wearing her bangle. And then she says, oh no, oh no, oh no. As she's looking at her fingers only, and then she runs off screen. This is very, 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 very confusing. And it's confusing for a couple of reasons. And it's confusing because of how they changed her powers in the TV show. Now, let's recap in the comics. In the comics, um, Kamala Khan is a huge fangirl of Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. In the comics, Miss Marvel powers is elasticity. She can stretch really um, long. Uh, she can make her body really big, really tiny. She can stretch her arms, stretch her legs. She's like Mr. Fantastic. But she also has the ability to shapeshift both her body and her clothes and in the comics she shapeshifts into carol danvers by mistake now in the tv show it's completely different her powers are more mystical based of that a um, pakistanian like heritage and stuff they reference the term jinn which i'm not really sure what that is and um uh, Pakistani Muslim culture. One reviewer says it has to do with genies. Maybe, I don't know. I, I mean, well, she used her powers. She didn't make no wishes, so I'm not really sure what a jinn is. I probably should have looked it up online, but I, I decided not to because I just got through watching, um, finally watching the new trilogy of Star Wars. I finally finished it. <laughs> I don't like the first two. I do like the third. The third had a lot of good action and heart and stuff like that, but it was a little confusing. The Force, I don't remember the Force doing all this stuff like it did back in the original trilogies and stuff. 
But anyway, um, back to the marble. So, um, so her bangle gives her the ability to create disc, hard like constructs. These crystal rock like disc, she can use them to step on and run throughout the air, or she can use them as like a force field disc. She can also use her powers to make like a long stretchy arm construct in that same crystal stuff and make her legs stretch really long too. This is because after they changed her powers and stuff, they wanted to stay a little faithful to that of the comic. So they gave her, so she can't stretch, but her powers are able to make like a stretchy long arm effect. Now, this is where it also gets a bit more confusing. Her bangle also has the ability to time travel and the ability to open up a interdimensional portal to the um, clandestite like um, home. Mm, and she also has the ability to punch really huge holes in the ground. Somebody can just jump through and end up in another location. <laughs> I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Um, I think that's all her power can do. She doesn't shoot bolts of energy, I don't think. So, because she has now the ability to time travel and open interdimensional pockets and everything, some people have assumed that maybe she opened a portal to a different dimension and transport it with a different Carol or a different uh, or Captain Marvel. Some feel this way because of the costume. The costume is completely different and everything. And so this could suggest maybe like a different dimension Carol probably. So, but there's a good strong, and then when she says, oh no, no, it could mean, okay, maybe she's in a different dimension, maybe she was in the battle, and all of this. However, I think that she shapeshift because of the following reasons. Okay. One reason is because one, the purpley glowy hands, that's something that Miss Marvel does. Now Carol has glowing powers too, but it's more of a rainbow. Now the bangle is not on her, so maybe she shapeshift that. Now with the whole shapeshifting thing, we don't know what um, Captain Marvel looks like right now. You know what I'm saying? Because we haven't seen her since Endgame. And so some time has passed since Endgame. So we don't know exactly what she looks like. Maybe she grew her hair out. Now, as for the costume, if she shapeshift, because the thing is she has Miss Marvel stuff everywhere and she is obsessed with it. So she was probably thinking about her. The costume looking so different could be because like, she was thinking about her. Maybe she was thinking maybe the costume would look better this way, or maybe she couldn't fully uh, construct the costume the way it's supposed to look. And that could be for the alternate like costume. Also, when she looks at her like closet in the giant hole and, all, and look at her finger, she's all like, oh no, oh no, oh no. This could be indication that like, crap, my parents are gonna kill me for busting a hole through my closet. And not only that, but I'm no longer a Pakistanian girl. Now nah, I'm a white woman. <laughs> and she's kind of like, crap, I changed like my appearance and everything. And then, then she runs out. Now her expression is very much that of Kamala Khan, a teenage like, oh my crap, dude, like what did I do? You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, she didn't look in the mirror. One would assume that when you shapeshift and everything, you look in the mirror to see what you look like. All she looked at was her fingers and everything. And yeah, she can tell because her fingers look completely different than that of a white lady's fingers and stuff. And so she knows she did something, but she don't know exactly what she did. 
And so it would have been made more sense if she would have looked in the mirror or something to see that she actually transformed. I think the director did that just so she can play with people's heads and everything. But I truly feel like she shapeshift because it's kind of like, why did she say, oh, no, oh, no, no, and run away, you know, and why is it the same purple glowy fingers and stuff? So I think she shapeshift. She couldn't quite get the costume down, but you know, she came up with some other type of version and everything. However, this is what's also confusing. One reason why people think that maybe she came from a different dimension is because of the whole mutant thing. Finally, the MCU has said the M word and Miss Marvel has some type of mutation going on in her body. Does that mean she's an X-Men? Well, they played the X-Men thing, but that could have just been the fool with us like they did with the whole two Quicksilvers on WandaVision. Now, there's a good possibility they just wanted to mess with us because a mutation, just because they say mutation don't mean X-Men. It could, that's just a, a technical scientific term. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you dye your hair, it's technically a mutation and everything. So it can't be, so I'm thinking to myself, so that could be a possibility if it is a mutation, therefore the X-Men, and therefore she is a mutant, then she can't, she must have transported with a different um, Carol and stuff from a different dimension because X-Men don't exist in the MCU. This is why they're coming in and everything. Even Wanda herself is not a mutant. Now, the word mutants have been used in Marvel in a non-X-Men movie, and that is Hulu's Marvel's The Runaways. Because the one girl with the super strength, she is a mutant. She's a mutant in the comic books, and they even said so on the show. It was the first time we ever heard that, but I don't think that show is connected to the MCU because, you know, it was on Hulu and stuff. So it's still up in the air. I guess we'll find out in the Marvel's movie that come out. So if, if they address it, if they don't address it, that's going to be screwing with us because I mean, you know, they've done that with the multiverse of madness. Like Wanda didn't even go looking for vision and stuff. You know, she mentioned him, but she didn't go looking for him and stuff. So who knows, you know, however, there is some huge, huge reasons why she might have transported Carol to her room and she transported someplace else. Because when she, or when the whole thing happens and she comes out the closet, she's looking around the room and sees all this Captain Marvel stuff. And she is very freaked out. And it's kind of like, if it was her own room, why is she freaking out? You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I don't know, man, like, it's such a head scratcher. And I'm starting to think maybe she did transport each other different dimensions or something. I don't know, man. It's just, ugh. They better explain this crap. Because they probably did this to get a season two, but then they're going to be in Miss Marvel together. So who knows, you know, who really knows? Alrighty, well I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.